Welcome back to Ta-da! 3D Printing. So now it's time to make the door for my room box and I wanted to change the filament so that maybe it will auto assign it correctly. So I changed the first one to show as black and the second one to show as white. I do have two separate pieces here and so they're just auto default the color that I selected. And I set up my filament to be the same way. So I have black in the first slot and the clear in the second slot. And I did click through and make sure that the printer knows what color each of those filaments are because it is not bamboo filament. Then I sliced the print and I wanted to see how long this would take with the two colors. Looks like it's going to be about 20 minutes with 7 minutes of it prep time. I thought it would show the pop-up window that shows that the colors do auto assign correctly but for some reason it doesn't want to show that screen. So I click print and I wanted to see if the prep time, the total time, is really accurate. I wanted to kind of just have an idea of how this works. So I recorded the entire thing through my screen capture on my computer and at first I was thinking this would work great but you aren't going to hear any of the sounds of the machine because of this. It's just recording my screen. Um, but it does give us an idea of how long things really do take. My internet seemed like it was pretty good and it only took a couple of seconds to send it to the printer. The printer is already starting to heat up and then it takes me a little bit longer to realize I need to click play on the preview screen. But you can see that the nozzle is already at 200 degrees and the bed is preheated to 35 which is what it's trying to get. I then remember that even though I put the build plate back I had not put glue on it yet. And I am still trying to follow the rules on that. I don't usually apply it every single time, but I had touched the build plate and cleaned it. So I had a fresh layer that I wanted to put the glue on. At this point, the nozzle is already at 220 and I'm not really sure what else it's going to do. But then I see that it changes the temperature from 220 to now it's going to peak at 250. I'm not really sure why that is. I assume that my print temperature is going to be lower than that, but maybe it's something so that it can purge or load. Um, and it, it gets to that temperature fairly quick. It's still saying heat bed preheating, but I don't see that number change. And then it seems like as soon as the nozzle finally gets to the 250, then it kicks it back to now it needs to cool off to 220. So I'm not completely sure what the process of that is. Then once it cools to 220, it changes that it needs to cool all the way to 200. Still saying heat bed preheating. Once that's cooled, it switches to cleaning the nozzle tip. And I would also say too, I left the door to this printer open because I am printing PLA. Um, I swapped back from the PETG that I did on the previous one. And I assume that that's what I'm supposed to be doing, that I'm supposed to be leaving the front door open. Of course, the top lid is that's glass. I have the AMS up there. So hopefully that is all the correct settings, and we'll see if the um, timing works. Now it's homing the bed. I'm not sure if that being down a little bit will change the overall time. It shouldn't do much. And it looks like it purges and is still continuing to clean the nozzle tip. Then it lets the nozzle cool down and then it will begin doing the bed leveling. And I'm going to zoom forward through this because it takes about three minutes to do the bed leveling. And I notice that it does the whole entire bed. It doesn't seem like it's just focused on the area that I'm going to be printing in. It looks like it does the entire thing. Then it heats the nozzle up slightly and it goes back over that same area that I will be printing on. So it's almost like it calibrates that again. Um, it heated the, the nozzle up and then now let it cool down again as it's going. I'm not really sure what the point of that is. I would think it would either be warm the whole time or not, but this takes about another 30 seconds. It parks and reheats the nozzle, which takes another 20 to 30 seconds to get it all the way up to the right temperature. And then it changes to saying that it's calibrating the extrusion and it looks like it's doing the front purge. And right here we're hitting the seven and a half minute mark, which is when it said it would start printing. I would not consider this printing because it looks like it's cooling the nozzle down again to 140. And then once that finally hits, it bumps it back up again. And this takes another 40 seconds. It looks like it continues purging a little bit more and then it moves to the back. 
and purges there. And then the finally when it jumps to the print, we are at eight and a half minutes. So it's a little bit longer than it said. Honestly, seven and a half sounded like a long time. Eight and a half sounds like a really long time to get this calibrated and start printing. So now let's see, let's skip ahead and see how long it actually takes to finish. It goes through the color changes without any issues. There's no errors or problems with that. There's no spaghetti, it works fine. And then the print finishes at 23 minutes and 15 seconds. And it said that it would take 20 minutes and some change. So we're about two minutes, a little over two minutes that it took longer than it said. So let's see how it turned out. Again, I feel like I have just a little bit of stringing some parts that don't look perfect on the black. It doesn't purge or it doesn't streak into the clear. So I can use this. I'll just have to clean it up a little bit. Um, somebody had mentioned I may need to adjust my speeds and I really had just used whatever was the default. So I'll, I'll need to mess with that a little bit and see if I can slow it down. But overall, I am happy with this. Um, I mean, it took a little bit longer than it said that it would, but I would still prefer that to be to getting the errors that I've been getting on the MMU3. So I, I think this will work. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.